I'm Alemi from Yayo Botanica. Welcome back. It is so good to see you guys. We all made it through the previous year of 2020 and now we're moving into 2021. 2021 is going to be fantastic. And we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things to think about, to prepare for, and to receive during 2021. But I'm standing here because a lot of times uh, I don't really share with you guys some of the things that are going on in the store, especially those of you guys who do not live locally. So I've been doing a special lucky New Year's blessing kit for the last 10 years. I make these items by hand only once a year and it is to unblock any kind of blockage, to open your roads and to bring in prosperity, abundance, success, love, all the good things that are out there that you really need to get your hands on. So standing by, just so you guys are aware of what's going on, you guys can get this online or in the store while supplies last because we are limited on supply at this point. But today I wanna to share with you 2021. Remember, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications in the description box below. Send me your information, your email address, so you can be on our exclusive YouTube channel list. So last year, those of you who participated and watched uh, our channel, and I did the 2020 forecast where I talked about the zero, right? Zero being a void, uh, nothingness. If you remember this year was kind of, this year was filled with a lot of things, but definitely it was difficult to plan. Things, things seemed like they just weren't really moving in some respects and moving very quickly in others. Uh, some things didn't last very long this year. You had it, but then it was gone again, so on and so forth. 2021 is your level up year. If you are a person that you're a spiritualist, you are an African traditionalist, you deal with traditional African practices, both here and in Africa. If you are a shaman, if you're a root worker, light worker, anything like that, or you're a person that you embrace the source, you embrace that we are here on this plane to utilize everything that the source has put here for our benefit, this is for you. So one, let's talk a little bit about one because one says the beginning. It's time to move forward. We take one step at a time, right? So we wanna think about this idea of these kinds of concepts but 21 for people who are in the idea of embracing nature, the idea of embracing the source of manifestation, the law of attraction, that the, the vibrations are out there just waiting for us to tap on them. This is your year. 21 is a foundational number for people in these practices, but 21 also speaks about the beginning of a new era, the new beginning of something. It's a conversation of the messengers, people who have the warrior Orishas. This is the number for the warriors. They're foundational deities. One of them is the one that Ogun, the brown breaker who brought human beings and Orishas to, down to earth to live on the earth plane. Alegba, the road opener, the decision maker, the one who gives us choices, right? We have Ochosi, the one who's the mastermind, the hunter to go find your opportunities, and so on and so forth. In all traditions, they have various deities like this. This is the year to lean on your foundation, your foundation in your spiritual life, your educational life, your financial life. This is the year to look at your foundation strengthen it and or start a new foundation. Why? Because one is about new beginnings. Again, I'm gonna keep saying it, we take one step at a time, right? We lead with the right. So this coming year, I encourage everyone, 
prepare for 21. If you're hearing these words today, prepare for your success, prepare for your abundance, prepare for your victory, prepare for your breakthrough, prepare for making more money, prepare for moving to a new place, prepare for a new love, or to strengthen what you currently have. 21 is about moving forward. One is the number that starts a new cycle. Why? Because it's one through nine, and then it goes back to a zero. So we need to use this time wisely. Everyone who's listening to this video, I'm sure there are a lot of different types of forecasts out there. Mine is short, sweet, and to the point. I want you guys to take this in. This is a year of manifesting desires that you may have had. If you've planted seeds over the last couple of years, this is the year that many of these seeds will grow fruit. If you have planted negative seeds, this is a year that some of those negative seeds can come to pass. So this is a year where things will be up and down. There may be some transitions this year. Remember I talked about changing situations, maybe changing where you live, maybe changing your financial situation, making, maybe making decisions about relationships that are not going anywhere, maybe making decisions about relationships that you wanna to take to the next level with yourself, with others, with loved ones, and so on. This is a year to go big or go home. This is the year to level up. I want you guys to hear me. I want you to be motivated, encouraged. Those of you guys that watch my channel, you know that I'm not about anything negative. Negative stuff is there all the time. We don't need to go look for negative but we need to keep positive in front of us all the time so that on the dark days, we know it's not gonna stay dark. Next year is the year 2021. We're here. We're about the business. I'm telling everyone, including the people that I mentor, this is a year to keep all of your spiritual things refreshed and vibrant. Don't let dust be on your stuff, work your stuff. If today you haven't done anything for a while, you do it today. It doesn't mean you have to do it every day, but you need to continue to work your spirituality this year. Why? Because this year is about foundation. This is the year about duplicating things, right? So um, for those of you guys that listen to some of my small little tidbits that I may record, I'll tell you then about my three words for this year. So you guys have to follow me online to hear that. So I wanna share with you, this is also a year to bring others with you. This is a year to not be alone. This is a year to be in teamwork, in cooperation, in working with others so that you can move forward. Being, working with others in like-mindedness so that they can help you and you can help them not to be out of balance where you doing all the work and other people are eat, eating the fruit. This has to be a year where you've got this, you got the car and I got the money. Well, you drive and I'll pay, right? However that works. So you wanna have good judgment this year. You wanna think about things once, twice, three times before you make big decisions. Why? Because this year, 2021, is setting the foundation for the next three to seven years of your life. It's gonna be really important that you focus, focus, focus. So my friends, thank you so much for listening to this message. I hope that you got something out of it. Please share it with others and always give me a thumbs up, hit that bell for notifications and see you guys next time. I love you guys and I hope you receive this message. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, like us, share us with others, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, and come visit us in the store. Check us out on all social media. See you next time.